Hello guys, welcome to More Than Modern here at Great Old Games. I'm Alfred Poon, I'm your host, joined by Rian. Hello, what's up? And today wait, we have... Uh, Dennis not on Goblins. Oh, 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 he wait. is oh, on... Wait, this is not even the right... He is on... Tr- uh, he said he was on Tron today, I believe. He yeah. borrowed... Elder, Elder, I think it's Elder, Elder Tron, because he said he borrowed... But he said... No, he's, he's playing green. There can't be, Elder Tron doesn't play green. Uh, and it has to be Tron. Uh, green Tron. Green Tron, okay. Unless, uh, well, unless you're telling me like Elder Tron has this new sick Mark type. is still on uh, Hollow One. Hollow One? Same guy as last, yeah. Well, we did see him last game, last round, technically. The guy who was on the table. The guy who was on the table, yes. Okay, very cool. So, uh, yeah, Tron versus Hollow One. Yeah, it's Green Tron. Eh, wait. It's Green Tron, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's Green Tron. Yeah. Alright. I would Sweet. say that... Honestly, I would say that uh, this is a very... I would say Danny Seed has the upper hand here because... It feels like Hollow One is not a very unfair deck as people perceive it to be, right? Because you, you, what's your best play? Turn, turn two, turn, turn two double four, turn two, four. Turn two double four, four. Then they just turn three. That's that's Can't pretty weak that's sauce, it. man. Yeah, uh, weak sauce against Tron, but like it's pretty strong against other decks. Right. So, right. uh, yeah, Danny should be quite chill with this matchup. No burning inquiry anymore, right? Yes. Uh, actually, we're well, not very sure, but uh, check uh, a quick stop Mark, I think I think Mark Ung is playing like. The elementals version of the deck. Oh yeah, because we saw the the the, the what's the dude's name? Lightning Elemental. Yeah. Lightning, lightning element, ball, ball, lightning. <laughs> the if they're still on burning, then then the best draw is turn one caught hollow one. Uh, that's, that's that's not very realistic. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like too good. that is too good. You have to be you have to literally be the best player in the game to do that. You have to uh, have all the talent in the world. Actually, no, some. you actually that isn't realistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's but uh, it's I possible. No, actually, actually, it's no. Possible, I right? think a more realistic, uh, a more realistic way to get a uh, quad, quad hollow one uh-huh. is a uh, turn one, turn one, a uh, faithless looting. You cycle your street wave, then you have four hollow ones. You just pa. But I've had it happen to me. I'm oh sorry, Poland. You're very, very big f to. It means your, your opponent match. was very talented. Your opponent must be very talented, man. I can't. We can't. You're not gonna face a talented opponent every time, so it's, it's okay, man. Uh, it's okay. If you, you know what, it's okay. You can learn from Danny. Danny's, Danny's, uh, Danny has actually been playing Tron for a very long time, right? Mm, he yeah. says we mentioned earlier that he was boring the deck from, from a pro tour player Tae Chun Hao. But uh, he's actually been playing Tron for a very long time, like maybe two, f- two, four years ago, not three, two, two, three years ago. Uh, yeah, somewhere like when he started playing modern, then he yeah. p- he played Tron first, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Tron was one of the first decks that he played. Even though th- I think Danny C is the player who like uh, plays flavor of the week decks, you know. I mean, Tron was pretty flavorful at that period in time, right? Tron is always flavor. Yeah, Tron. No, no, no. I I think Tron was like fell out of flavor, like for for three three four months ago. But it recently went back up because people realized that Eldrazi Tron was good. Then if you play, the the resurgence of Eldrazi Tron, Tron became Green good. Tron beca- becomes good because Green Tron like kind of beats Eldrazi it's Tron. It's like a big. It's like a big. This beats that beats that like scissors paper stones rock paper scissors. scissors. No, if you play JRPGs, there's this elemental wheel. Yeah, <laughs> this, 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 stupid this. elemental wheel. <laughs> Then the then below there's like dark beats dark beats light light beats dark <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom yeah <laughs> like the two completely unrelated elements hey, but of unrelated. actually this is uh this is, this doesn't look very good for Dandy he can hit turn turn four right? but then the problem yeah, is he's taking he, too much yeah uh, we, it's not but it's he not can, the if he has like, if he has Ugin it's fine because he can cast I don't think he can p- the, the 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 special map requires two to crack so all oh, right yeah he can't, so he can't crack it the best bro. he can do is crack the the relic of progenitors to exile Mark's graveyard. Uh, I don't see any dudes in his graveyard worth exiling though. Yeah, but he can cycle though. He does get he does draw off that. So uh, let's see here. If he plays the if he does the expression map on his turn, he has access to at most five mana. I'm not sure if five mana does anything in mono green tron. I mean you have Ugin if you have eight mana. Hard cast Ostone first. Hard cast Ostone. Actually, no, ready. that's not a bad idea. You can hard cast Ostone. Uh, he takes oh, oh, wow. flame wake. You, you look at the look, look, daddy just flicks the card away, you know, you see him just like <laughs> Goodbye, Relic. Uh, he draws the Tron land. Oh, actually, he does no? Then he doesn't need. Oh, natural Tron. Natural. Oh oh, it's not natural Tron. That's not. It's not. Oh, um, oh. Un- unnatural Tron. Uh, okay, okay, fine. So he has to crack. He can crack though. See, uh, uh, well, does he have Worm Coil energy? It would be cool if he had Worm Coil. No, does he has nothing? That's not cool. Ryan, what do you make of this? I think. I think it's very. Uh, I think Danny is a bit behind now. Uh, very behind because of the yes. The if we if we disparity in life, I, if I think we've got advantage bar, the advantage bar will be very red 
in Mark's side. Yeah, like, you know, the uh, Pro Tour, they always have the advantage. Sorry, it's, uh, it's called Mythic Championship. Sorry, the man. Mythic Championship. Can you, always can have you use the, the right terms, please? Magic Fest. Magic yeah, Fest. They always have the, the giant advantage arrow, right? And it's right. like... Mark Ng, like the, the the red arrow going this way. Actually, I don't. Th- is this the elemental version? I think it's just play the vanilla version. The elementals, like, you don't need to commit a lot, right? It's you just, just make play red, black, and uh, then you get the three dudes in. Three yeah, copies, and I, then think, I think whack. the deck does play uh, Unearth regardless, though. Unearth is a pretty good cycler. Oh, okay, 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 he can slam Ugin here. Oh, uh, see? Yeah, so he's he probably going to slam Ugin. He, dude, he drew, he top deck the Ugin. What a luck sack. It, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not luck. It, it takes skill. That's true. It takes that's skill to top deck. That's true. And but you see here, he, he makes the... Oh, man. Every time I I think back to all the Ugins he's casted, uh, he takes another Ugin. Very nice. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. He wants to use that Ugin. Because uh, at, at the Ugin, uh, it's uh, a different version. No, I think that one's Japanese and that's English. Oh, okay, okay. Because he... <laughs> interesting. Yeah, yeah. Bruh. So, uh, switching Ugin's to flex on his opponent, I think. I'm not sure. But uh, Mark Ng goes for the, f- goes for the fetch. And uh, four lands as Hollow One, I don't think it's a very good spot you want to be in. Because all your spells are going to be cheap or you're going to delve a lot for those spells. Yeah, making man, them you don't really want to hard cast your, your flame rig, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hard cast Hollow One. That's the ultimate feels uh. bad moment. But uh, I, Mark, does, Mark should realize that uh, he can cycle his Hollow Ones or Unearths if he has those. So he's going to hard cast <laughs> Blood Gust and <laughs> swing for two. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad play, Yeah, actually. but now the Ukin just gains him life and he's chill. Oh, no, it doesn't... Wait, no, it just it's shoots, it's right? Yeah, it just it's shoots bolts. bolts. Okay, that's it. Oh, I do, this is not a good... It's going to exile the, okay. the blood gas. Okay, that's a very that's good play. Good, that's good. And I won't call Danny to stabilize, all right. Now now he's in the chill zone. Yeah, I think Danny is a good spot right now because of the sequence of draws that he Even has. Even if, like... Because Red Black doesn't have uh, exile, right? So all he has is, like, uh, destroy the Wormcall with... Right, right. Ribet, yeah, Ribet does not have ac- ac- access to re- exile effects for the Worm Coil engine. Generally, don't even play removal, right? Yeah, Except I don't... Except for bolt. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Yeah, bolt or push. Oh, or like double bolt. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't even hit the Worm Coil properly. Is going to bolt him? Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Top, top deck of Phoenix. Let's Easy. go. Easy. Oh, uh, uh, oh uh, flame uh, dead of that. Okay. Whoa, whoa. No, if you play flame dead of that here, next turn, he can play... He can attack and cycle and that would be game. Yeah, but then... Uh, it's menace. It's menace. And just swing him with the Worm Coil, right? Yeah, it's gonna swing with the worm uh, coil. I think it's gonna no, it's gonna minus one to get rid of the flame dead adapt yeah, and then, then swing with the, the worm coil. coil. Actually, no, he can just bolt it. Doesn't need to minus. Yeah, 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 bolt yeah he it, just bolt it. And then swing with the worm coil again six. And then he's he's in the chill zone now. Yeah, yeah, this is a very good spot for Danny. Wow, see the how, the moment you slam like Ugin or worm coil, yeah, your your life suddenly comes a lot better. And yeah, he plays the sanctum of Ugin so that he can get a very good follow up if he if he like top decks another big spell. Mm-hmm. And Mark Ng, I think he drew Burning Inquiry. Burning Inquiry. Okay, I guess that's a somewhat live draw. He's gonna play. He's gonna throw. He's gonna b- throw it off. Fire it off, of course. Okay. Let's 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 play let's play Russian roulette here. Uh oh, miss. This is a swing and a miss. Okay. What's this? Blood gas. Oh! Okay, okay. But, but, no, but Danny's seed has a worm call engine and the bl- and uh, yeah, th- okay. the thing. Yeah, the blood gas is a little too, like what, too, too underwhelming. Power, okay, so. Uh, too power, too, too little. Too little, man. Uh, faceless loot. I think he has a Gamak angler in his hand. Did he discard it? Yeah, he did discard it. My Unfortunate. Bad. So he can't, like, Gamak is 5 high, so. Yes, go back. It's a five-five. No, one one call still crashes over. He so he just takes the first game. Just yeah, like that. wow, very. That was, I think that was a very very good play from Danny Seed. Very good. Okay, yeah, top deck. he did. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, he that. he did play to his outs and yeah, that's he true. made the right like call. He made the right call to minus on the Ugin to exile the things on the board. Yeah, because like I the, when the one black gas was there instead of yeah, the right, right. minus, so make sure it wouldn't come back I to am, haunt him. I am very sure there are people who would have just plus the Ugin there. <laughs> yeah, you, like sure. you, like you, no, like you, like you, yeah. No, I don't even play Tron. <laughs> that's why you would, you would have done it. No, I would just concede. You yeah, just I concede. I, I I don't play Tron. <laughs> Someone asks me that Tron deck, I'll just sit there and like uh, concede. Uh, concede. Concede in shit that you're playing Tron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, but Mark Ng is uh, I not we we, we saw some elementals. If he's playing, the, I think if he's playing the elementals version, ball lightning would be very good here. So it's gonna t- obviously take out some removal. Uh, fatal push goes out. Lightning bolt, I think stays it. No, he's taking out the lightning bolt. Okay. You think? You think he was be like? Cool enough, like very cool enough to play Skullcrack. 
it's a red card, it's instant speed, so I guess yeah. he could. It's an option if, if people want to try it, but I don't think it's been tried before. So, oh. Yeah, it is a vanilla version. There's no elementals in here. Sorry, guys. It's oh. just it's just vanilla hollow one. We have disappointed you once again. I mean, what's so impressive about a 3 mana 6 3 haste trample? 6 1. 6 1 haste trample, sorry. Because it, can, because it can be a 1 mana 6 1 haste trample. Make you discard, ah, make you discard two cards. Unearth. Good stuff. Unearth and, uh, and Lightning Scalimento uh, is such a good synergy. It's combo or synergy? Combo or synergy. <laughs> I mean, it's just generally good. Unless it's so good in this deck. Unless it's a very good fetches, card. Fetches, whatever. Like, okay, just bring it up. Uh, So, CM fetches any CMC3 back from the graveyard to the battlefield for the cost of a single black mana. This you can fetch a... Uh, if your board is empty, you can't bring back your flame wake. No problem. Just cast this. You want to bring back a hollow one? Sure, go ahead. You can't bring back a hollow one. <laughs> but, oh yeah, it's fine, right? It's three or less. Yeah, hollow, oh, yeah, one hollow is one's fine. fine. Yeah, you want to bring back... Uh, what else can be rather than Phoenix? Scalamental, this is the perfect target. I don't think Phoenix actually plays Scalamental. If you yeah. break, no problem. You just... just uh, I think this is like best in those... Uh, con you know, uh, Esper, Esper Mentor? You know? Oh yeah, this it brings, brings back the... This brings back everything, man. This brings back Jace, this brings back Mentor. <laughs> oh, that's a dream. <laughs> this card is actually really good. I'm, I'm afraid that this is going to restrict design space for Watsy because now they can't pr reprint... Now they can't print like g very good three or less mana cards otherwise why they, they've printed zero mana 8-8 eight, eight tramples before why can't stop them <laughs> <laughs> I like how like uh, Maro just admitted on Tumblr that Hogak was a mistake <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right right he did, he did. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do about it I don't know when the next BNR is do you know no I, I'm not very updated on BNR of course I remember that time I bought I bought a I bought a paradox engine I bought a paradox engine on BNR there I got banned. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's like uh, the maximum. That's the, that's the maximum punch in the nuts right there. Oh, uh, the next BNR is uh, August twenty sixth. So okay. that's like in a uh, August 26th, close to yes, three yes. weeks. So Thank we're gonna have guys. another three weeks of nineteen Hogak. days. Nineteen days. Another three weeks of Hogak. homies. I don't think you'll get banned honestly. I think just uh, but you see the reason the thing about the 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 problem with Hogak, right is. You don't you you can't bank Hogak because it's a new card. Then your 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 new your new booster pack will have lesser EV. But if you ban if you ban the stuff that supports Hogak, you're also banning the stuff that supports other decks, right? Yeah, so the reason why he, they could ban Bridge is because Bridge was only used in the Bridge Vine decks. So I guess they're not gonna ban anything, which is I think it's okay. Hogak right. is not it's not a big, it's not, it's 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 beatable, right? It's beatable. It's, it's beatable. Very obviously beatable. Like it turns the format into like if you're playing against it, you're be, you're playing against a few gear, but it's still beatable. Right, right. Oh, that goes to five. It's okay, London Mulligan. Yeah, man, London Mulligan. Uh, so you just need a uh, natural Tron into Ugin, right? Easy. Natural Tron into Khan, into Khan. Uh, sorry, Actually, Khan. Is Khan good enough in this matchup? I think you need the Ugin, uh, right? Yeah, preferably you go like all his dust into Ugin. That's like the Yeah, dream. Actually, no, you can just Ugin. You, you don't really need all his dust if you have Ugin. Oh, oh yeah, this looks true. like a really bad hand. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Sage's Stirring Center Forest. I think this is oh, fine. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, Ulamog. Just throw it and throw all the lands, I think. Oh. oh. So okay. he, he keeps the special contortion, which I think is a, the right play. Doesn't do anything to, to Hollow One, though. Yeah. Thought sees. Dude. Oh, he's going to take the Ancient Stirring. Oh, he's he's, he's going to take uh, the Ancient Stirring, man. I think he take the Ancient Stirring. Oh, yes, take, take the, the Ancient Stirring. You, you, you have to take the Ancient Stirring. Like man. double contortion to lands. So obviously, you take <laughs> okay, the. Okay, okay, yes. That was a, that was a very obvious so thing. So now. <laughs> Uh, Mark is, Mark is gonna have a very happy game. Mm. Yes. Oh, happy faithless looting. No faith. No faith. Let's go. Faithless looting. Uh, no faith for the wicked. That that one that one menace guy. What's his name again? Uh, oh same blade, blade adapt. Same right. blade adapt. Right. Thank you. I forgot to click. Click click click. I think he's looking for lens actually. I don't think I think it's lens stuck. Yeah, that's why he looting first. Oh no. Right. <laughs> oh. Wait, no are those lens is on the right. Yeah, I'm just deciding what to discard. Uh. Oh, yes, no, let's no. Okay, uh -oh. okay, 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 okay. We have game, folks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has land. another. He has another looting. Oh, but like, 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 like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, eh? no he, he didn't draw land again. <laughs> I love, I love, card games. Bro, card games are the best, man. So now he has to draw land. No. Okay, okay, let's okay, go, let's okay, go. Okay. 
let's let's play let's play. I think he's game. going to he's going to quit magic. He yeah, he, yeah. he just went for a third looting. I don't think he hit it. This is your inquiry, man. Oh, he's in Korea. Yeah. Okay, okay. So he has to pray that. Did he hit it? Hit any lands? I don't know. I I didn't, I didn't see. But okay, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, he hit the whole <laughs> <house. laughs> <laughs> Oh no, that would have saved him. Oh no. Well, there's a funny thing about playing Hollow One and playing against oh, Hollow he, One. He, he had one more in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Daddy Seed didn't remove the two Hollow Ones, he would have triple Hollow bro. One. <laughs> this is a bro, bro moment. Dude, Danny just dodged the bullet and he still got hit by the recoil. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> you dodge the bullet and the bullet shall fly to you. Uh, and you still get the, they get the Phoenix back. Oh my god. Such a tilt. But it's okay. That's a big tilter, man. He, he's... Silver's crying. I mean, yeah. uh... Danny is is still not like Tron online yet, so yeah. he's still in oh, the shield zone. Has one. Okay, he has one more now. He's gonna play a chromatic star. So this is Mark's window of opportunity yeah, to I start the beatdowns. If Danny if Danny like top decks Ugin again, that would be pretty that would be pretty sick. Yeah, but he has to have the mana to cast it and the only way Oh he has a map, okay. So he can crack He can't ca he can't he can't crack he it. He can't crack it now, it. but yeah. he cracks it the next th oh my god. Then he doesn't have enough for Ugin. Okay, Danny's on ten, I don't think he has enough time to survive. Unless he goes like natural Tron. But I don't think that's uh that's happening here. Well, he has two contortions, right? So he's probably gonna contort. He can contort the 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 the, 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 the flame blade. Flame blade adapt, yeah. yeah. Saves him a lot of life. Actually he has double contort, he can like remove the flame blade adapt and another and another and a phoenix. Yeah, but they'll just they like, force him to pay the mana to bring the phoenix back anyway. Right, right. So No no uh he can do it. Uh, uh, after the declare attacker, so he doesn't. Have oh right, yeah. So double, like when he swings in with the double yeah. phoenix. Oh, he he's cracking the the star. To draw another star. Oh no, Very but cool. now he he can't contour, right? No, he can, he can. He still he he can use. He's floating one mana and one green, I think. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so now he's oh, floating one that he can what's use. He, what's the, he looking for? The last man. I think he's looking for Tron and. Oh, he he gets. Wait. He sees Ugin. I think you take the Ugin, right? Oh no, he doesn't need to look for Tron then, yeah, because he has the map, yeah, 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 so he just the, needs. Oh, you take Ugin. Oh. Uh, he just needs to take the. I think you take the Ugin, right? What do you think? You take the land. He takes the land. Oh, is he, uh, he's thinking. I think so. What do you, what do you think? You get, you get it's, 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 it's an easy Ugin. It's an easy Ugin. You think it's an easy Ugin? Yeah. Really? <laughs> because like, how else are you gonna come back into the game? You have to, you have to blow up his bot, right? Yeah, but Ugin doesn't blow up the hollow one. Okay, he does take the Ugin. Okay, very cool. Yeah, but then like you, uh oh yeah, then is he gonna be too low? I don't know, man. I think he's, he's dead. Oh, he does. I think he's dead. Okay, no, no, no. He's right? not dead yet. He's not dead yet. No, he just needs to cast a spell and then the... No, no he, can, he can remove the flame of death. It's okay. Wait, does he have Tron online? Yeah, he does. One, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he can remove... Attack! The shoot the... Shoot the bird. Oh, shoot the and bird. And then take. Yeah, then now Ugin can't save him. Ew. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's nothing that saves him, I think. Is it... Oh, oh no. This is a tilt. Next game. Can he, oh, he can play. Uh, he can play Ulamog. Oh, oh, does he have Ulamog? Ulamog will save him. Oh no, does he want to crack? No, don't crack. No crack. No crack. Uh, a star. Okay. Top deck. No, he has Ulamog in his hand already. He just need to top deck the a good card. Oh yeah, but the, the, he doesn't have enough mana to crack and Ulamog, right? Because Ulamog is yeah, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he hit it. Uh no Dear. no, then he died. Maybe he has one call engine. Oh, <laughs> that's convenient. But then he could just get bolted to the face since on three. You never know. Oh. Yeah, scoop. Oh no. Next game. Okay, next game. Well, that was very close. Though. I, I, I mean, it was not close, but it was tight. It was like close to he, Danny was close to coming back. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. <sighs> Man, that, I've not I've not casted modern in a week. I feel like disconnected already. Yeah, modern is always evolving, bro. Mm. Modern is a modern true. format. More than modern. Modern, modern, modern. Mm, the cute thing about modern is that you can never. Yeah, it's always changing, right? I I mean, standard can stagnate, but because like no one plays it anymore, but people are always grinding modern. Right, right. People love modern. I don't know why. It's such a, they have such polarized matchups. I guess it's the appeal of playing with well, the pe sideboard. People, right? people love polarized matchups. I'm talking about. I guess it's the fact that you have fast decks that can go 15-20 minutes and you can just spend money on a single deck and then you can play it forever, right? Bro, sp imagine spending money to play a game that lasts 5 minutes. I would. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I genuinely would because at five minutes it's like you can play like many many times so that's a lot of five not, minutes not in a tournament in a tournament you can just sign up for like a Grand Prix or a, sorry a Magic Fest or MCQ and then that five minutes is like so you double you, basically you, you double you double queue you, you double queue in a, in, a, in a Magic Fest yeah Rian, you sweet have, right yeah that's that's the most stupidest thing I've <laughs> <in my> entire <laughs> life sweet right no Okay, okay, so... Nox gonna do... Nox gonna be the one mulling this time. Oh, it's, no, it's not. I mean, there are actually people who play in... Uh, I, I've heard stories where people play in Paper Magic tournaments and then they have Arena on their tablets. <laughs> <laughs> doing the MCQ or whatever. So That's dope, man. That's dope. It's pretty dope. It's like half stone, bro. Maybe, maybe there should be a rule against that. You shouldn't... You can't... You can't hey, wait, is it, no, there is a rule. You can't use electronics while you're, you're playing. No, I've seen they... They will play in between matches, right? And then they'll show up late. <laughs> 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 okay, but uh, Leonard of Void is a pretty decent draw here for Danny C. I think Mark Ng is very incentivized to take the Nature's Claim here. If he has any like enchantment or artifacts that he wants to stick on the board. Yeah, it's, I mean, no, no, I mean, he might Actually, take the, the Stirrings. I think the Stirrings is also a good option. Because, yeah, he's... No, he, can't, he can't even cast Stirrings, he has no green. Oh yeah, then like that, he should just take the the the. I think maybe no. You, so you you can't cast claim or stirring. So maybe take the one call engine. Yeah, the, 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 the fastest energy. you can cast. Yeah. Natural Tron like a boss. Oh oh uh, oh! It's top deck the green. Oh talent. That is absolutely beautiful. That's the talent right there, folks. Top deck the forest. At place the expedition map. Okay, very cool. Easy clap. Very cool, sir. You talented, Dude. bro. I'm sorry. I, I thought he was gonna like break man and then once he breaks sand it's like instant. Danny Seed doesn't break bro. Instant GG. Are you sure? We've seen him break before. Oh that's true. Live. Maybe Danny Danny Seed just hits his opponent with the brick. <laughs> <laughs> throw a brick at you. GG. I think yeah Danny Seed has been playing for a very long time. I think it's 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 about time that he actually starts not making mistakes on stream. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I think if you play it long enough you should you should reach no. a level that you're proficient enough that you don't. I feel like generally you, when you, your proficiency only carries along like across decks that are the same archetype. So like if you're right. a really good aggro player, then uh, you have to when you pick up a control deck you have to go through the motions again. You know, right, be like a right. total noob. That's what I find personally, but I don't know about different players. I pick up one aggro deck and then I'm good with all aggro decks of the similar color. Then you play a mid range deck. How do I play this deck? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's seriously. Because you have to you have to play aggro and control at the same time. You have to know when to gas pedal, when to yeah. break. I think hollow one is hollow one doesn't feel like aggro deck. It feels like very mid range. No, no, it doesn't. It's not mid range. It's a it's thoughts. a combo deck. I would argue that you say it's a you think is you argue because you spend a lot of uh, like you spend a lot of your decision making in like calculating the combo. Cal yeah you you spend a lot of it calculating the odds of you drawing X or the. Or being able to cast X for right. Oh wait, it's ball lightning. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, ball lightning. See. Oh. He oh, play poopy. It. Bro, he does play it. This card. Why is he gonna discard now? He has to throw that Ulamog and something, right? Yeah. But the question is, See, what? They just claim the the hello one. Okay, that's very cool. Gives Mark Ng four life, but I don't think that's a big issue. He's gonna discard the Urzalet and the Ulamog. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's the. I guess that's the right play. Yeah. I was thinking maybe perhaps he keeps the Ula Mog so he can play it, but then he wouldn't have the land to play it anyway. So I guess. I guess. Uh, playing like this, kind of at least gives him an out to top deck, big threat. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So Ooh, another one. Wow, Mark Ng is running dude, hot. Dude, that is. That's just brutal now. He has no way to get back into the game except for top decking, right? And uh, is he gonna top deck? Uh, uh, that's not good. That's but not okay, so this makes his his like big creature top deck a lot better, right? Because it yeah. this amount of creature. But now he but first he needs to no, draw the first creature. Draw the first creature. Draw like the first, the first bomb. Like uh, it could just be really bad, like if he tops deck if he top decks like cause he's taking how much is he taking this turn? Well it depends on if Mark wants to slam another <laughs> that Light Scale Elemental. Which he can't because uh, yeah, just you can't unearth it because he, all his stuff are exiled. Yeah. Okay, just to think. Uh, uh, okay, no. Gamma Angler is a, is a... No, he can't, be, he can't even delve for Gamma Angler. He's, he's, uh, he's exiled. 
Is it's it really all like weapons? Relic? No, no, let's oh yeah, the stupid ley line. Yeah, the stupid ley line. So, yeah, it, like it confuses it confuses me why he has his grip head all spread out like that. Like it doesn't yeah. matter. So like if his hand's dead, then he can't do anything. So right. I guess this buys Danny a lot of time. And I don't think the odds of him top decking his last copy of Lightning Skelly are very likely. Yeah, he replayed two. So yeah, most stock this run three. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, you checked. Okay, I you actually checked. checked. <laughs> So I think if oh, he doesn't want to fire off the goblin, goblin lock, oh wow, top decking the lands, bro. Is it top? Just another day of Danny Seed. Another day in the life. Okay, so he's, I think he's going to fire off the goblin law here, see if he can draw some gas. Uh, gas, uh, gas. He, I think I saw a, a fame blade of that. That's pretty okay. I mean, just 8 turn clock without discards. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, no, no. Taking out the the flame, the flame rate phoenix is really good, actually. Yeah. Oh, he has the oh he has uh, uh he has the 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 the, the blood gas. Attack. <coughs> is that? Oh, hasta balista, baby. <laughs> hasta balista. Yo, this is a this is a big bomb, and he can he can also crack the sanctum of Ogin for. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so he cracks it for like Ugin. How much? Same how, time how, many, how many counters is that? That's six? That's. I think it's six, right? That's has yeah, to yeah, be six. Yeah, right? Because it's 12 mana. Yeah, yeah. So he gets the. What do you fetch from that? Worm, co worm, worm coil. coil. Yeah, that's clever as well. Yeah, it just needs to stabilize. Wait, what's the CMC? What's the fetching CMC for? I think it's any actually. So, so it's seven or greater. Then you can get any creature. Creature. Oh, okay. So it's any colorless creature, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, he's not going to shoot first. Okay. Pass the turn. He just wait. Just wait to shoot. I would like. I would like to shoot here just because. Because it was like empty on hand, right? Uh, maybe shoot now. Or is this cast? Wait, what's no, cast? Burning with Curry. Curry. This doesn't do anything though because all his stuff is exiled. I think he's more interested in like destroying Dennis, like ab abusing Dennis' bad luck. <laughs> like oh, I hope you discard your like your 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 big like corn. Your oh, he whatever. did. He did take out the. He did take out the worm call engine. I guess now he's shooting. Oh, yeah, that's that's a good way to. Oh, because yeah, yeah, he wants to. Because he did fetch Yeah, yeah. Now and now, Danny C is in control because he can pump his uh, walking ballista like a lot until the cows come home. It's it's a good mana sink. Forces damage. Yeah. Now he's is he going up to wait? To tr wait, how much? Is, that's he pumps it twice, right? No, or thrice, thrice. Right. So that should be go up to six. Yeah, go up yeah, to I six. Yeah, he's on one. Effectively. Oh, it goes. Okay, he's gonna leave. He's gonna leave two lands up. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, oh, is fair. he is he trying to represent like spatial contortion? Maybe. Okay. Very cool. Oh, and then he like barely takes oh it with gosh. off the back of the walking ballista. That was that was good. I like. I like how he he had to he had to fish like nonstop. Yeah, yeah. I think well, the Tron deck generally relies on fishing for cards, right? Yeah. You pet once like once your Tron is online, you're low on cards in hand, you have to fish. Right, right, right. Yeah, go fishing with the boys. And go fishing with the boys. <laughs> just get there. Alright. Anyway guys, that's round two. We've saw uh that's been Danny Seed versus Mark Lung. Uh so obviously Tron is the better not Tron no this has this is it's a just good, really it's a really I good matchup for Tron. Yeah, this is a generally a good matchup for Tron unless Mark Lung has the really high rolly hand. So I think and, if, you, you, and we saw Danny see he did not have turn three Tron. Yeah. We saw him both games not have turn three no, all three games, sorry, not have turn three Tron. So yes. I that's think it. That's pretty much like yeah. how good Tron is even if they are turn or too late. Yeah, yeah. Because I think some people they overestimate they overestimate how much another deck can do again to them in like three turns, right? Yeah. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. Anyway guys, uh thank you guys for watching. We'll be back for round three, so don't go away. You are, as always we'll put up a replay. But uh, if you would like to watch more videos from us, you can go to youtube.com slash games. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can always catch us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash games at uh, 8 p.m. Wednesday, uh, GMT plus 8 Singapore time. That's when we uh, stream our modern. And our weekend events will, uh, schedule will be up in a bit. So I will, I will make sure to sh tell you guys uh, next round. So yeah, uh, for myself and Ria, we'll be back. Right back.